guys, George here, Shredder Every Day, and today I'm gonna to give you some great science and biology behind sticking to a diet and making it easier for you. We're gonna look at understanding how the body works in terms of digesting the energy that comes from our food and the energy that we get out of our food, and then we're gonna use that to be able to work with the body to help us keep a healthy, lean weight and give good energy, less cravings, less hunger. I've got a really good animation that's gonna show this for you and it's going to talk all about how it all works in the body the different foods and how it all gets broken down and how a carb isn't a carb and how a calorie isn't a calorie even though some people think it is and in some ways it is in some ways it isn't so we're going to look at that let's just jump straight okay so picture the scene we're at home we're studying for some kind of exam or reading a book or we're chilling and we need something so we grab a bottle of soda just to give ourselves a pick up so in this case, we're going for a 32 fluid ounce bottle of soda. And uh, it's quite good, you know, I mean, it's gonna give us a fair bit of energy. It's got 100 grams of sugar, and that equates to about 400 calories. So initially, yep, we're alert, we're on track, we're focused. Half an hour later, nah, we're tired, we're hungry again, we're lazy, we're definitely not feeling like doing anything productive or active. So let's have a look inside the body now, break it down, really zoom in and see what's happening inside our body to play around and play with havoc on our energy and our cravings and our mood. And this energy we're talking about comes from the form of glucose. All our cells get energy from glucose. Our muscles, our brain, everything, it travels through the bloodstream and it gets delivered to where it's needed. And this needs to be kept stable throughout the body in terms of that homeostasis to keep blood sugar levels stable. So we have our soda, it goes into the stomach, goes through the stomach into the intestine, into the intestinal walls. Now soda in this case is very simple, it has no fiber, and it's made up of lots of simple sugars, you can see here through the individual molecules that are lining the intestines, and sugar's made up of glucose and fructose. And now all of this, because it requires no digestion, all of it gets dumped through the intestinal walls and through the interstitial fluid into the bloodstream, all in one go. So we're getting all this energy from those 400 calories all into the bloodstream in one go. So our blood sugar levels, our glucose levels skyrocket. We get this massive spike and we've got loads and loads of energy flowing through our bloodstream ready to go. And our body wants to maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the body. So the pancreas senses this massive increase in blood sugar levels and it releases insulin. This is the green thing we can see here into the bloodstream. Insulin as it travels through the bloodstream is like the delivery man. It says, hey, I've got energy in the blood, who wants it? And it connects to all the different cells and the muscles and the skeleton all over the body and the liver as well. And it provides that energy into the cells. It gets it out of the blood, you can see here, and we get a massive drop in blood sugar levels into the blood and it's all gone into the cells of the body. But now we've gone from really, really high to really, really low and we're at the complete opposite end of the spectrum. And we're going into that yo-yo. So now we're tired. Now we don't feel any energy because we don't have any in our blood. We feel hungry, we have cravings. And this is the point which our pancreas again senses the low blood sugar levels and it releases something new. In this term, it's glucagon. Glucagon does the opposite. It grabs the energy out of cells and brings it back into the bloodstream for keeping stable blood sugar levels in the body. So it connects to the different cells of the body, it connects to the muscles and the liver, and it brings some sugar out of the cells of the body back into the bloodstream and we restabilize. Let's try something different. Let's try something with a meal with lots of fiber, lots of complex carbohydrates, lots of protein, healthy fats. And now we've got much more complex uh, food that needs more time and it's much slower to digest. So instead of getting this massive increase of blood sugar and all this energy going into the blood, we have a slow, steady rise of blood sugar levels that then gets absorbed at a steady rate into the body, into the individual cells, and we maintain a much more stable blood sugar level naturally without the need for production of large amounts of insulin and large amounts of glucagon. So we want to help our body and work with our body by releasing foods that give a slow, steady stream of energy into the body. If we dump too much energy, simple foods and uh, simple carbohydrates into the body in one go, then the excess gets stored in adipose tissue, into fat. 
And if we do that again and again and again, we produce all this insulin, we produce all this storage hormone, and it gets all that energy and puts it into fat, then it's just going to build up over time, and that's where we get our obesity. If instead we give our body healthy, fibrous foods that are slow digesting, complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, plenty of good lean proteins, then we're going to be able to maintain a much more healthier physique and we're going to be feeling more energetic, we're going to feel more alert, we're going to have less cravings and less hunger. So by understanding that animation we can see how different foods are processed and how the energy from our body is partitioned into different areas of the body and how it's controlled in the body. If we take 400 calories worth of simple sugars with no fiber, it all gets dumped into the bloodstream in one go. And then the insulin comes in, massive loads of insulin, all the delivery guys, and they're like, who wants energy? Muscles, do you want energy? Skeleton, brain, liver, do you want energy? And they go, yeah, I need a bit. But they get to that point where they're like, no, no, I've got enough energy now. So the excess gets dumped into fat. The excess gets dumped into fat. Think of it like a spillover effect, okay? If we have all this energy around the body in one go, the muscles and all that can take so much, but then they have a spillover effect into fat cells. Then we have no energy in our bloodstream. We feel tired. We have cravings, cravings for carbohydrates because they have, and you know, crappy, junky foods because they have lots of energy in them. And we feel lethargic because we and we don't feel like doing anything so we're not motivated to work out we feel bad about ourselves and our energy expenditure goes down as well compare that with the same 400 calories worth of lean meats and fibrous vegetables that get a nice slow release of energy into the bloodstream the muscles and the rest of the body can draw up that energy nice and slowly and control and there's no spillover because the energy is used up as it comes in and there's no spillover into fat cells. I mean, technically it should all be the same, shouldn't it? You know, 400 calories worth of soda, 400 calories worth of lean meats and vegetables, you know, calories in, calories out should be the same. But it's really not quite. It does get processed differently in the body. It really does. And it feels different as well. So let's talk about the feel different. Yes, you're going to feel a lot worse if you have the 400 calories worth of crap and the 400 calories worth of good stuff. 400 calories worth of crap, it's going to be much harder to stay on your diet. You're going to have cravings for really bad foods. You're going to have less energy in your workouts. So it means you're going to be doing less and you're going to be eating more. You're going to be, you know, have that urge to eat more. So the diet's going to be harder to stay on. So by having lean foods, lean meat, lot of fiber, complex carbohydrates, so you know whole grains and and fibrous vegetables instead of simple sugars and breads and all that stuff then it's going to be much easier to maintain energy and focus and motivation and get to your workouts and eat good foods and you're going to feel good about yourself the second thing to discuss is about those 400 calories in and 400 calories out and how they get processed is from the insulin effect when we have these simple carbohydrates, we get a massive spike of insulin, and this can have a detrimental effect long term on our ability to maintain a healthy weight in terms of insulin resistance, leptin resistance, and our body signals to our brain that we're full, and our body signals to our brain of giving ourselves energy and things like that. I'm going to talk about that a little more in the next video, and that's going to go into insulin a lot more because there's a lot more being discovered now about the role of insulin against leptin against hunger against the biochemical changes that are going on in today's society due to the types of foods that we're taking from our environment and this is what's really fueling the obesity pandemic and ep epidemic that's going on right now and that requires a whole separate video so hope this video has been good for you like comment subscribe and then you'll get the latest update when the next video comes out. I'll maybe do a few of them all about insulin and controlling that and how that really is the scientific secret to getting on a diet, staying on it and using your body to work with you and really get the body you wanted. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.